Hi, boys and girls. We're going to be reading our third decodable reader story for Lesson 18. This is our decodable reader from Unit 4. We're on page 83. So I'm going to read it to you first, and I want you to notice that we have these special words that have these apostrophes in them. Do you see it? Do you see that apostrophe right there? And right here's one. Do you see it? That little tiny punctuation mark. It looks like a comma, but it's up in the air. When you get two words and you stick them together, um, some of the letters pop out. And you have to have a souvenir of where they, where they pop out um, by using this punctuation mark right here. It's called an apostrophe. Anyway, I'm going to read you the story. Then we're going to practice some words that are contractions. And then we'll, we'll, we will read the story together. I think contractions are fun to read. I hope you do too. But right now I'm going to read it to you. What will we do? They're just sitting there bored. It's a hot, hot day. It is too hot to run and play. What can we do? Oh, the pool is closed. Or the pond is closed. I don't think pools have cattails growing out of them. We'd like to swim, but we can't. Bay Lake isn't open. What'll we do if we can't swim? Okay, so that's a lake actually. Bay Lake. Oh, that says wet paint. We can't play on the deck. So here's the deck and someone just painted it. If they go outside, they're going to get paint on the bottoms of their shoes and ruin all their work. So we can't play on the deck. It has wet paint. What'll we do if we can't play on the deck? Oh, looks like they're reading. We'll read. It'll be fun. Let's sit and read. This tale is the best. Are they reading the Three Little Pig story where the big bad wolf goes and blows, their blows down their homes? This tale is the best. A big bad beast chases three nice pigs. It wails and wails. Arrgh! It trails those pigs home. When you trail something, that means you're right behind them. It trails those pigs home. It keeps on wailing and wailing. What? What's she doing there? Wait, that's not right. It doesn't wail. It huffs and puffs. Huff, huff, huff. Puff, puff, puff. No, no, no. We, you must be mixed up. Beasts don't huff and puff. Beasts wail. In real life, they do wail. They go, Arr! But in that story, it was huffing and puffing. Well, sometimes beasts huff and puff. This beast huffs and puffs. This beast huffs and puffs and chases you. Oh, she's going to pretend she's the big bad wolf. And she's going to chase him. Okay, so let's look at our contractions. Let me go put this book up here for a minute. So a co contractions are two words, like, for example, this one, that when you contract them, when you squeeze them together, they make another word. So what will means the same as 
What'll? What will happen? What'll happen? Do you see how the W and the I are missing now? And where they used to be, there's an apostrophe. Okay, let's do an another example. We will, will. We will means the same as wheel. Which letters are missing? They have the W and E, but then there's a W and an I that are missing. So they put an apostrophe where, where when they were, the words were squeezed together, they fell out, they put an apostrophe. LL. We will means the same as wheel. We'll have a nice time at the church picnic. This says, it will. It will means the same as it'll. It'll is the contraction for it will. And it means the same as it will. Like, it will be dark soon. It'll be dark soon. They mean the same. Okay. Let's go ahead and move this up. And then we'll put this right here in its place. Here's another example that's in our story. We would means the same as weed. So they, there's a lot of letters that got squashed out of we would. Let me see, we have the W and E, but we're missing the W, O, U, L. All of those are missing. And where they're missing, there's a souvenir. It's a, called an apostrophe, and then you have the last letter. Okay, so these four right here are in your story. Let's read them. Weed, wattle, wheel, ittle. Okay, there's some more. Um, all of these ended with like would or will. So sometimes the words end with not or is, and they're a different rule. Do not means the same as don't. Okay, does not, does not, means the same as doesn't. You guys getting it? All right, cannot. Can you think of a contraction that means the same as cannot? I cannot do it. I cannot drive. I can't. I can't drive. Okay, what does is not mean the same as? Did you say isn't? Okay, I don't know how to keep these down. Maybe with the back of my phone. Okay, I'm going to put them down. If you hear it going ding, it's because kids are turning in their homework right now. That's my little sign that they're turning in assignments. That is. What's the contraction for that is? That's. That, that is a nice t-shirt. That's a nice t-shirt. It is. It is. Is the same as? Means the same as it's. Like, it's a nice day. It is a nice day. Okay, so now we get to practice our contractions in our story. Okay, let's come back here. All right, ready? Begin. What will we do? Did you read those words? Good for you. It's a hot, hot day. It is too hot to run and play. What can we do? We'd like to swim, but we can't. Bay Lake isn't open. What'll we do? If we can't swim. 
And I forgot to read this. Do you know what it says? It says closed. Do you remember what this says? Wet paint. We can't play on the deck. It has wet paint. What'll we do if we can't play on the deck? We'll read. It'll be fun. Let's sit and read. Okay, so now they're reading. Okay, what are these words going to say? This tail is the best. A big bad beast chases three nice pigs. It wails and wails. Can everyone wail right now? Arr! It trails those pigs home. It keeps on wailing and wailing. Let's wail and wail. Arr! 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 To me, that sort of sounds like howling, but, you know, I don't know what they mean by wailing, so we'll just pretend that's wailing. Wait! That's not right. It doesn't wail. It huffs and puffs. Huff, huff, huff. Puff, puff, puff. No, no, no. You must be mixed up. Beasts don't huff and puff. Beasts wail. Well, sometimes beefs huff and puff. This beef huffs and puffs. This beast huffs and puffs and chases you. Okay, that was a fun story. Hope you learned something about reading contractions. And I remind you of the link beneath this one where you can practice this story two more times using the slides. See if you can do it by yourself two more times.